We're Michael and Halef, and we've been traveling full-time in our camper van since 2019 with our German Shepherd, Kana. We crossed into Baja California in Mexico again for the winter this year, and we're making our way down to the southern part of the state, where we plan on attending the Escapar a la Baja, the legendary van life meetup that happens on the Tecalote Beach. Escobar number two for us, number three for you. Come and join us, where we have such a great time with a lot of old and new friends, great music, delicious food, and a lot of great activities by the beach. This is where we're gonna start our journey this time. Yeah, been here before. Good morning y'all! Today is the starting day of Escapar a la Baja which is a festival that we've been going in the past three years. It's a lot of people here already and we are so excited to show you around what this event is all about this year. So tag along with us! But first thing first... You made it Sophie! <laughs> meet up with a lot of familiar faces... Josiah! All around the event... Oh. Jimmy and Natalie! Oh, <laughs> Baja. So, how do you say that in Spanish? <laughs> what is dropping a Baja without the ultimate Baja experience? Which is simple enough if you get stuck in the sand. And today, we have our friend Joy that is stuck in the van. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Jeff is excited to help out. I think it's not too bad yet. Only this one, it seems like. I think the other one a little bit too. It's not bad at all. It's not bad, but I think you can get back. Tear down the tires to make it easier to get out. That would be a good thing to have. The max track, fingers crossed. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, stop, stop, stop. stop. Just moving back. Yep, you're good. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A little extension. Tracks, if you just go straight. Right. And maybe kick your tire straighter. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just up. Joy, if I can recommend it. When you go there, just keep going. Like, go fast. Hope you're good. That's... Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 That's awesome. That's how the pros do it. <laughs> I think that's the first time these have been used. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> Escapar this time has a significant amount of Westy Vanagon in attendance but not only that, they also have all sort of different arrangements a lot of self-converted vans, RVs, full-size schoolies, short schoolies Hey Mike! Car camping and even a motorcycle slash tent camping and also the beast, which looks like a beast and an amazing big truck here from Poland that's the first that I've seen here in Escapar. If a big fifth wheel can make it here to Baja, everybody else can. <laughs> Holy moly, they made it here to the playa. Just like years before, there are many vans here that are not from Mexico, which is basically about 99%, right? So there are a lot of people from all over the United States, Canada, and even some European rigs. Germany, France, United Kingdom, so yeah, it's pretty worldwide. This is probably the coolest camp here in Escapar this year. <laughs> so they are part of the Caravana del Desierto. So they've been traveling around in a group. It's super cool. Yeah, thank you. Well, okay, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Very mellow. Yes. You're not mean like they said. It's no. like everywhere. You know? My yeah. new friend here told me that the caravan started off in Tijuana and they make it down here to La Paz in seven days. Paris Cotillo, Viva La Baja! Yeah. 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 Argentina, see? Si. Uruguay. And now they are enjoying the festival with everybody. Colombia. Ah, Bolivia. Oh, wow. Si, si. You can find me Baja Gillos Google Map. Okay. But we're definitely gonna check out Baja Gillos in Ensenada on the way back. You're Perfect. welcome there. Yes. Chewy. Checking out the portos. So this year, the portos are arriving at the proper time before the festival. Strategically located portos all around the campground. 
and it's a beautiful setting for, well, doing your business, right? That's all you need, really. Okay, let's check out how clean it is. Oh yeah, it's clean. Good job. Also several dumpster, and it is stayed true for all the van life festival that we've gone through. It is so cool to check out other people's rigs, including this one here. It's a renegade van. <laughs> so rustic. Flip flops off, soft sand. Now this is a lot more what you imagine Baja would look like. With the, motor, with the motor, it allows you to like fly almost like wherever. And right now at the airport, there's a very interesting lesson: power paragliding 101. This is something that I have zero knowledge about. So this will be a very interesting lesson to learn about. Officially, this sport is called the uh, Power Paragliding PPG. So that's something well learned. Instead of calling it the lawnmower in your back and paragliding, it's quite entertaining to actually watch them take it off and uh, doing stuff on the air. <laughs> I don't know what's a technical term for it. It's definitely a beautiful setting to do it. So what a demonstration! <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this is the right, official Lasca Bar tattoo. Yep. Ah. There are a few tattoos and piercing parlor, and we're gonna check out one of them. Our friend Mate is about to get one, so we're gonna follow his journey through the painful tattoo. All right, let's do this. What's your name again? Hadley. Hadley. Hadley May. Hadley May. Yep. <laughs> do you have a lot of people already get tats? Mm -hmm. I've had several. So it's been pretty good so far. So this is the prep, obviously. Yeah. Jimmy, it would be cool if you actually get a tattoo. I oh, so don't cool. think I can. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Persuasion. I just want something like representative of like traveling. I guess then getting it on a beach in Mexico feels like the right context for that. I'm gonna get a palm tree, a cactus, a pine tree, and a maple tree like tattooed on my knuckles. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, let me yeah, see. Yeah, can I see the, uh, in, uh, the pain is like starting to wear off? No. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts again. All right, who's next? Jimmy? Natalie? Lexi? Come on. Come on. <laughs> so inspiring. <laughs> Look at Drew eating it out. Drew, what do you got? Three tacos, one of each. Nice. Oh, 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 my goodness. And then they were having mezcal drinks. Sure, I have a couple more meetings today, <laughs> but... And Jamaica mezcalitas. I have no idea what Jamaica is. It's hibiscus. It's a hibiscus mezcalita. It's really tasty. Today they have a food stall as well as drink stall. And everybody's just gathering here. <laughs> Cheers! That's great. Oh, you like that, Larry? I do. This is the center camp, and the most action happening is, well, technically throughout the day, but at night, this is where the magic happens. And tonight, we have pizza. Alex! That looks great. <laughs> And tonight's vendor is a local pizza restaurant in La Paz called Made. And they have a few interesting ingredients, including some of the local mussels that they offer. So a quite popular spot for everybody. Because who doesn't love pizza? <laughs> Very excited. If you haven't already signed up and paid, bring a hundred pesos exact and we have a trivia night tonight about Baja California. So if you're a trivia geek, yeah, we gotta join in. All right, welcome tonight. We're gonna be doing trivia. My name is Craig. I'll be your trivia master. We are going to win this. We're gonna win this. We're yes. gonna get coffee. And what was the other prize? A uh, beer, right? Coffee and beer. Coffee and beer. La Paz named the capital of Baja California Sur. Where was the capital located before it was moved to La Paz? We're not doing so well. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> we didn't win. Alright. I'm not sure you guys.
can hear me, but we are just chilling for tonight. This is cool. This is a great vibe. And karaoke is coming up next. Going to some morning yoga at Playa Tecolote. They guilt tripped me to do yoga this morning, so <laughs> no, just kidding. It's actually good for you, and I'm looking forward to this session. Hopefully, be able to stretch and make myself a better man. <laughs> That's a good goal <laughs> to start the day. <laughs> this is where we're gonna torture ourselves in the next hour. And we have a German Shepherd corner here. I kind of a chewy chewing buddy. Good boy. She's excited for yoga. Flair is excited for yoga. And Jake's ready too. Yep, everybody's ready. All right, thanks for joining everyone. This is going to be an all levels vinyasa class. If you have your intention, we're going to get started on all fours, tabletop position. What do we have? Through? Do we have? Is this Mexican crabs? Yes. We are reminiscing what we did last year, which is the Baja crepes in our campground. Hey, Homer. We are making the two Drews to work for the crepes preparation. Cultural preparation of the year. Cultural preparation of the year, yeah. Tortillas, bananas, strawberry jam, Nutella ish, chia seeds. How was it? Yeah. So sweet. Sugar on sugar. Nice. Anya approved. <laughs> Jeff approved. All right, I'm gonna get one. Mm. This quickly becomes a Baja tradition. Why wouldn't it, right? Drew's doing a great job. All right, we are on our way to hit the water. I took down paddle board and I apologize <laughs> if I end up hitting you in the face with an oar. I'm gonna try not to. Yes. Exercise. That's a more efficient way to do it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go in my joint Hey! Party boat! Cold beer. Alright, cheers. Hold on to the next paddle board and do this. <laughs> so this is like Titanic. Some people are fortunate <laughs> enough <laughs> to be. There's clearly room for Jack on the raft. Yes. She could have let him on. She oh, just chose not to. Where's your beer? No, my beer fell out of my pocket. Oh, Lexi! And the woman said, don't worry about me. The beer doesn't fall out. What a vibe. <laughs> what a vibe. In that last look. Why? I call them choripanes because it's easier here. I make the sausage and it's an Italian sausage. Come si chiamo in italiano? Panino con salsiccia. Tomato, onion, chimichurri and cheese. Are you gentle? Yes, of course you are. You are a smart girl. Oh, no. Good girl, With Hannah. a lot of experience. No? Yes. She's yeah. not young. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Thank you so much. That's really good. Thank you. Yeah, it's really good. 
It is so delicious and choripanes so is definitely one of our favorite foods here in Escapar. Soul Rebel Bakehouse. They have a tiny pastry here based on the under system, but I think this is the coolest thing. They drop fresh pastries every morning and you can pay what you think it's worth. Put the money right here. And you can enjoy warm pastry. But unfortunately today we came in a little bit later. They only have two little pastries left and one of the small loaves. I guess that's what I'm getting today. I'm like ski dating on a Saturday. Oh, what's my name? Are we making a name? Daddy. A disclaimer, I'm not part of it, but they are getting ready for a speed dating, which is a lot of fun. Everybody wants to find a date here in Escobar. I got a name tag. Nice. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and Jake too. And Chewy, are you in it? Handsome boy. I would be interested. There we go. You've got a sticky on your head. <laughs> All the speed dating, everybody's having a great time. is slightly different here in the center camp right now we are having a live concert and also an art market that support local business Hello. Uh, you want to try? Uh, sure kombucha that's really good berries ginger rose la paseña is a local tea is damiana it's a endemic herb from here it's really refreshing and good for your stomach yes based in la paz and they have a stall right here at Escapar. Gotta get a six pack. Nice to meet you. And thank you. In Mexico, it's so hard to find kombucha. So yeah, support local business. It's highly recommended. And this is great product to have. Muchas gracias. To stay, I want someone to take up my time. Miss me when I go. Joining us, my name is Ira Wolf. If you like any of the songs you're hearing, or help them crinkle, tell tell the crinkle. Oh, oh miss. Try again, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get this one. Thank you, Dave. The magic happens when the sun goes down here in Escapar. When you see the sun disappears, you're supposed to howl. So I'm gonna about to howl. <laughs> it's pretty weak. Look at that fool dancing around. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, go for it, Jeff. Woohoo! Oh yeah. oh yeah. The best way to view this is on somebody else's roof. Choice roof this time, but you can see other people actually on the roof to view this. Just incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. And if you would like to follow along with our journey all around the world, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Or the motor. I don't remember the other name. $60? Pesos, dollars, whatever. Escapar is happening when the sun starts to go down most of the time, but that's so not true, so I'm gonna revise it. We are the, the champions, my friend! And we'll keep our fire! Oh